Hi, Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. All right. You could be reflecting. You could be in this karmic energy. All right. You could be uh, going by water, large bodies of water, ponds, lakes, or this could be the advice to do so. Um, welcome. And thank you for liking the video, joining the channel. Now, this will be a what's the chat about you? Okay, what is what is people what are people saying about, about you? What are they thinking about you? I did this a few days ago and I liked it. So, you know, energy changes every day. So I, I would like to check in more on that and see what's going on because you know people you want to get a little insight, you know, how someone may be looking at you. And, and this goes back into that hermit energy because the name of the song is Grass Reflecting on Pond. Okay, so you could just be reflecting on how you are seen to others making sure you're self-aware all right this is very beautiful someone who's concerned about their reputation so you could be in this queen of wands energy all right this is a general tarot reading so please take what applies to your life and what doesn't allow it to stay on the table divine spirit thank you for clear communication and divine protection what are people saying about divine feminine how are they viewing what is the chat what is the tea Okay, thank you so much for clarity. I feel like uh, that's what my cutie Mark is telling me. For some of you all, y'all could, if you are mothers or your teachers or you're familiar with My Little Ponies, there is a pony called Rarity. And she's like very fancy, all right, really into diamonds, glitz, sh shimmer, and sparkle. I feel that this is how people are viewing you. Like that pony rarity, if you're familiar with that, okay? And then when I heard it's what my cutie mark is telling me, the ponies each have their own cutie mark that symbolizes what their purpose is in life. And maybe some of you all just found your purpose. And people are viewing you as someone who found their purpose. Yeah, found it's okay. People are viewing you as someone who's, like I said, found their purpose with this two of pentacles. It's like being balanced out in your material world. So your material world is coming into balance. Um, someone's having a tower moment behind this. Yeah, they having a tower moment. Uh-huh. Yeah, you could have to defend yourself from an Aries or a Leo or a Capricorn. Um, they see you as someone who stood up against um uh, you may have stood your ground against these one of these three signs and they see that the outcome is you being um is that good the outcome is you being successful with this sun coming right out the outcome is you have a stability and you walk you walked away from this person after okay if this is a relationship people are seeing you as someone who uh walked away some from some fucked up things that were happened to you you defended yourself they're seeing you as someone who's stable they're realizing that your stability is your success all right with this the sun here and uh, the two of pentacles so they're viewing you as someone that is balanced that's the t on you the t on you is like goddamn they realize that you got this uh this stability to stand on and it's like this was given to you from divine relatives from the universe and i feel like they know that you have universal help so it's a tower woman for a Capricorn, Leo, or an Aries as they realize that you have some type of universal help. Oh, yeah, with this magician being here with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, they are seeing you as someone who's able to manifest a large amount of money. Someone whose birthright is destined to be a millionaire. Divine Feminine. To have financial legacy of a... Uh, Someone who eradicated poverty from their bloodline. There was something that I wanted to check in for you guys. Let me pull out one of my books to make sure I'm speaking accurately. Because I had seen something. But I, I want to check on it before I speak on it. Because I like to give out factual information. So I don't want to just be sounding all wrong. But um, I could have sworn. I, I feel like it's an Aries. But I'm going to double check though before I say this. Let me see spirit. Well, we got spirit. Yep, I was right. Okay. Okay. That's no problem with me. I don't mind that. I just had to double check because it's like there's so much information and knowledge being learned on my part. I just want to make sure I'm bringing you um, truth. All right. So, yeah, this is the tea on you, man. This is the tea, Divine Feminine. That you hard work and you work hard to get yourself out of this five of pentacles energy. And this is why the universe is giving back to you. Because you diligently worked hard in the cold with no goddamn shoes on. Okay, bitches. The, uh, who's built like that? Not everybody going to be able to work hard in the cold with no shoes on. Okay, for some of you all, you could have been working hard and realizing or not realizing that people were trying to protect you. 
Ooh, I didn't mean to say that. People were trying to protect you. So maybe there were some people sent to your life or in your life to protect you because you were work, you were around here working hard. But for some of you all, y'all didn't even know people were trying to attack you spiritually, attack your soul. Because when I seen, or yeah, I seen this on the car, even though it's not on the car. I seen, when I seen that five of pentacles, someone working hard out in the cold with no shoes on. And I'm, I'm sure in the traditional tarot decks the five of pentacles show someone with no shoes on or i think or one shoe missing or something like that but everybody not built to endure that what bitch you know for to be out in the cold spiritually this is what i'm saying like spiritually even before you were um elevated and aligned spiritually you always was a good person so it's like you were out here you didn't even know anything about spiritual protection back in the day i ain't gonna say now but back in the day you had no idea and that's what i mean about out here working diligently to get yourself out of this five of pentacles energy without no goddamn shoes on while it's dead smack in the middle of winter do you i mean that's that's impossible that's some strength that's really going within that's god given strength with this fifth chakra being here we have fifth chakra playing okay your last night could be steven pern halpin okay Spirit is saying that you have inner peace, healing, and continue to be in the state of meditation because people are seeing you as a healer, being able to manifest. Yeah. Okay. Um, and whoever was in competition with you, there could have been a masculine earth sign or, like I said, this Leo or a Pisces in competition with you. They view you as someone who's satisfied with yourself. So you like you are the ten of cups because you got your emotions in check. And you balance. So you're going to experience love regardless if you're in a relationship or not. You have the sun twice. Twice, Divine Feminine. So people are viewing you as successful, man. I'm telling you. If you're a Leo, just, you know, they be viewing you as someone who has twice the success. All right? And this is a reading. Okay? Love and light. Ashe. Until next time. Bye.